Coroner's inquest jury says a former trooper's death was not suicide, it was murder. Not only that, the jurors named Rhonda Reynolds' husband and son as being responsible. The inquest followed a problem solver's investigation that raised questions about Reynolds' death. Como Force Keith Eldridge is live at the Lewis County Courthouse with this major turn of events. Keith? Yeah, Dan, we have brand new information. The coroner is going to be issuing arrest warrants for the arrest of both Ron and Jonathan Reynolds within the next 24 hours. And we have just learned the sheriff, by law, has to issue and go ahead and make those arrests. So when those arrests will happen, we're not exactly sure, but the sheriff has to make those arrests of those two individuals named in this case. Now, for Rhonda's uh, mother, Barb Thompson, she's just glad of the finding of homicide. And we actually asked her what she would tell her daughter. I hope you're proud of me. We did it. For 13 years, Barb Thompson has been trying to clear her daughter's name. At first, the cause of Rhonda Reynolds' death in 1998 was determined to be a suicide. Thompson said Rhonda's husband, Ron, said their brief marriage was coming to an end and she was despondent. Rhonda was found in her closet, shot in the head. But her mother didn't buy that story. She believed her daughter was murdered. And following a problem solver's investigation, the coroner decided to hold an inquest. And after several hours of deliberations, the jury said it was a homicide. You said you'd be okay with undetermined. How does this moment feel? This is overwhelming. Uh, I've always said I had a faith in our, our judicial system and they didn't prove me wrong again. And the jurors went one step further, naming Ron and his son, Jonathan, Rhonda's stepson, as being responsible for her murder. Naming them both, though. Wow. Any way you look at it, they both had a hand in it. Coroner Warren McLeod said of a suspect or suspects were named, he'd issue a warrant for their arrest. For Thompson, it's been an emotional ride all these years, and she credits Tracy Vetter's problem solver's investigation as being key. You know, Tracy played a great part in um, keeping the heat on them and getting them to do things, and especially to make the public aware, you know, to stand up and do something. Now, at this point, no response from Ron Reynolds or his son, Jonathan, because they have refused to testify in this case, as is their right. As far as the next step, uh, an arrest warrant will be issued apparently sometime within the next 24 hours. The sheriff will make arrests of those two individuals, and they'll be brought to court. At this point, I just talked to the prosecutor. It's up to him to decide whether or not to go ahead with pressing any charges. He says he's going home. He's going to come back here tonight, do some late night investigating into the case to see if, indeed, charges will be filed. But that, at this point, is unknown but apparently arrests will be made in this case. We're live in Chehalis, Keith Eldridge, Como 4 News.